let's talk about bottom-up processing, gestalt processing, and neurodivergence. Bottom-up processing is a cognitive approach that involves processing sensory input as it's coming in without relying on any previous knowledge or expectations. For example, if you were looking at a painting, bottom-up processing would be processing the brush strokes, the shapes, the colors, before actually realizing what the big picture is. Some neurodivergent people perform bottom-up processing due to hypersensitivity or hyposensitivity to sensory input, meaning they're especially sensitive or they are less responsive to sensory input. This can lead to difficulties filtering out irrelevant information and can lead to sensory overload or a need for more sensory input or they may have difficulty maintaining focus on relevant tasks and so their brain focuses on those littler details rather than the big picture. Bottom-up processing and gestalt principles of perception are related in that they both involve how we process sensory information and organize it. However, they approach this organization from different perspectives. Bottom-up processing focuses on processing sensory information and its individual components and building it up to a complete perception. Gestalt principles, on the other hand, provide a framework on how we organize and process visual information as wholes rather than the sum of its parts. Gestalt psychologists propose that our brains naturally process sensory information and organize it in a way that simplifies and structures it into meaningful patterns. When it comes to language, I've heard some people make the analogy that a gestalt phrase is like giving a nickname to a word or a concept that's not actually shorter. But what it actually is, is it is putting a word or a concept into a category and it helps that neurodivergent loved one or non-neurodivergent loved one make sense of it and put it into a pattern in their brains. In essence, bottom-up processing is a mechanism in which sensory input is initially processed and then gestalt principles is a way to describe how some of that sensory information is categorized and organized into coherent perceptual experiences. It's important to remember these concepts when working with neurodivergent individuals. Certain techniques like sensory integration therapy or modifications of environmental setting may help the well-being of neurodivergent individuals. So remember to meet people where they are at, not where you expect them to be. And if you'd like to consult about any of these topics and how they relate to language acquisition or speech therapy, please reach out to me on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram at Support the Spectrum.